Hello students and parents and welcome to topic 5. Topic 5 is called multiplication facts using patterns. So this is going to be a good one for students because a big thing in second grade is learning about patterns both in numbers and in shapes and in the real world so when we're using these patterns it's going to be something that third graders can pick on pretty quickly. So the first thing that we're going to talk about are twos and fives, which I love because these ones are pretty simple and because they're really focused on. If you ask any third grader to skip count by twos, they're going to be easily be able to say two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on, all the way up to a hundred probably. And then fives, you could say skip count by fives, and they'd say five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, all the way to a hundred and beyond for most third graders. So we're just going to focus on a couple new concepts, a couple new patterns with twos and fives that might actually not be new. Okay, So with twos, um, each multiple of two ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So all multiples of two are even. And you'll see that here. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. All of them are even. So if you're looking and doing a multiplication problem with twos and you find yourself with an odd number answer you can automatically know in your head that somewhere there was a misstep. Another good thing about multiplication by twos is that you can use doubles and in second grade that's a big key doubles so third grade is going to be something we can apply so if I have two times one I have one plus one equals two to get my answer for two groups of two or two times two is 2 plus 2 equals 4, two groups of 2. 2 times 3 would be 3 plus 3 equals 6, and so on. You could do those doubles all the way through. Now fives, they have a little bit different of a rule, and they can, they'll can they either end in a 0 or a 5, which is really nice, and you can see that through here. 0, 5, 0, 5, 0, 5. So same thing with the twos. If you look at a a uh, multiplication problem with 5 and you have oh 5 times 5 equals 26 well I know that can't be true because it needs to end with a 0 or a 5 okay and you can also skip count so let's say let's do 5 times 2 let's skip count by 5 2 times 5 10 and most students can do that so you have 10 10 is your answer so let's go through a couple of these and what's nice about these problems in this unit you're gonna see a lot more just drilling there's gonna be more problems but they're not gonna be story problems they're not gonna be multi-step problems it's just gonna be a multiplication uh, question and then hoping for the answer so number one three times two I'm gonna use repeated addition there I'm gonna say three plus three and I know that's six using that double then four times two I'm gonna do the same thing use repeated addition 4 plus 4, that's a double. That is 8. And then 6 times 2. I'm actually going to skip count here. Um, that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Skip counted 6 times. And then 4 times 5, I'm going to go ahead and skip count again. 5, 10, 15, 20. Skip counting 4 times, I get to 20. Now in this unit, I'm going to encourage you to go ahead, if you have any tricks for multiplication that you would want to teach your child, this is a unit that I would, I would say absolutely go for it and teach them those things, because the important thing is that they're getting the facts quickly and accurately. Keep a lookout for the next couple videos, and I hope these are helping.